Morning everybody. Sorry I'm a bit croaky but I'm a bit under the weather today. Anyway, we've had a request from a viewer uh, just a few minutes ago regarding the wiring of the G15KS shoulder to the Mecha Brain. So whilst we're at it, we'll do the arm as well. Let's take a closer look. So folks, let's start at the elbow. All servo motors have a long and a short wire. And the short one on the elbow servo is not used. It's a spare at the moment. That's to be used if you wanted to add another servo motor in the future and program it to work yourself. The other wire is a long one. This moves up here. We connect to the short wire on the next servo motor at the top of the arm forming half the shoulder joint. That servo motor has a long wire and that comes off and fits into the connector which is a bit awkward to see because it's built now here. That connector is for the short wire on the next servo motor inside the shoulder there. So here's the shoulder joint with a bit better view for you. This wire here is the long one that's come up from the elbow connecting to the short wire on the first half if you like of the shoulder joint into this servo. The long wire here from this servo connects into the short wire here on to this servo. This servo of course is fitted with a longer wire as well and we'll move round a bit to show you that. It's a bit awkward to show you this with any real clarity just because it's uh, all been built and it's hard to get at now. But this here, just inside here, that's the bottom of the servo the second servo forming the shoulder joint. Here's the long wire and you can route this any way you like really. I've just changed this, it was outside the, the uh, what you might call the shoulder blade. But I thought well there's no point having it where it may get caught so I've now put it inside. Of course you do get lots of these clips here in the set and I haven't used them all by any means so you can sort of please yourself really. But the long wire from this servo comes down, now you could have it rooted outside or inside, in this case I have put it inside as I've said, it just comes down there and it connects into slot 1. Now if you're worried about the right hand side it's just the same, but this time it goes into number 3 slot. The other one is for the head, which we've already mentioned in the previous video, the number 1 tips video for the G15KS. So I hope that helps you folks. If you've got any more questions, I can't promise I'll get round to doing a video as quick as this one, but uh, by all means send your questions in and I'll do my best to answer them and if necessary I will get around to doing a video. So thanks a lot, see you again.